Are you new to web development and want to learn how to build your very first website? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do just that using .NET and GitHub Code Spaces. We're going to build our very first portfolio website without installing any other tools. All you're going to need is a GitHub profile. Let's get started. So we're going to start off in this Code Spaces project template for .NET, which is linked in the description below. And this template is going to give you all of the steps that you need to create and customize your very own portfolio website. So the first thing that I'm going to do in order to create my code space is copy this repository into my own GitHub profile. So I'm going to use the use this template button to do that. So I'm going to create the repository, make myself the owner, give it a name, um, portfolio. And I'm going to make it public because at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your website to GitHub pages so that you can have a URL to put on your LinkedIn and share with your friends. So finally, we're going to create this by clicking this button. I've already done this, so I'm just going to navigate to that repository. So from here, the next step is to open our code space. And code spaces is really just a cloud-based editor. And what that's going to allow us to do is edit our code and navigate our project without installing any other tools, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to click on code and go to code spaces and click this plus button to create it. Or an even easier way to go about doing that is going to the top of the readme where we've included this button right here. So I'm going to select on the repository. Uh, that we were just in. And I'm going to create my code space. So it might take a couple of minutes to set up your code space, but once it's set up, you're good to start coding. We've configured the entire environment so that you have all of the tools you need, all of the extensions, and everything to just get your website up and running. Awesome. So our code space project is still uh, in the process of getting set up, but this might look a little bit familiar to those of you who have used Visual Studio Code before. It's basically the same editor. So here you can see the project files, um, as well as the dev container, which is what is currently setting up our code space. You can also go in and see the extensions that we've put into this code space so that you can just get to coding. Uh, without worrying about what's needed. So it's going to take another minute or two to set up. Great, now our uh, repository is finished setting up. What I'm going to do is preview uh, the website template that we've started here. So I'm looking through the directions and after you set up your code space, it suggests doing SWA start. And this is going to allow us to see the site. So that's getting set up. So in order to see this, I'm actually going to go into ports. And these are the ports that it's running on. So I'm going to look at the first one uh, and click this to open this in my browser. So as you can see, it's loading up. And boom, here's the template that we provided in this repository. So as you can see, there's some um, images here, there's some titles and text, and all of this you're gonna be editing as you customize your portfolio site. Um, and there's a couple different sections, there's room to put in your social media links, and you can also navigate through these like this. So, what I'm gonna to start to do is follow the first couple of these to show you how you're gonna be customizing this site and making it your own. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add some of my details and social media accounts. So in order to do that, oopsie, I'm going to go to source blazer app, source blazer app, um, www root, sample data, uh, then site properties.json. So this might look a little bit familiar, and that's because this is the name that we just saw on our site preview here. 
So let's see if I change that and I save it, we should be able to see that updated. So I'm gonna refresh this page. And as you can see, the name is now changed. So that's how you're gonna go about customizing your website. Um, and don't worry, we have very detailed steps to show you exactly which folders you're gonna be going into and the information you're gonna change. And you can even change the images that you put in there. So this is great. And don't forget uh, that as you're going through this to save your changes and uh, commit them to your repository. So once you're finished making all of your changes to your site, and I'm gonna stop running this with Control C, uh, it's time to deploy it. And it's really easy to deploy your site. So I'm gonna do this by using GitHub pages. So I'm gonna go back to my repository in GitHub. I'm gonna to go to settings, and then I'm gonna to go to pages. And here it gives you a little bit more information about what GitHub Pages is, um, but basically it's gonna host your site from this repository. And the cool thing about that is it'll give you a URL that you can then put on your LinkedIn profile, or you can share it with your friends, or whatever you wanna do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that source is set to GitHub Actions. Then I'm gonna go up to actions here and I'm going to go to publish Blazor app to GitHub pages. And I'm gonna manually trigger this workflow. This might take a couple of minutes, uh, but you'll know the progress based on the little progress icon here. So let's wait for that to turn it green. And there you have it. Now that uh, this has turned green, it means we've successfully published our Blazor app to GitHub Pages. So I'm gonna finally go back into my settings, pages, and here is my site URL. So I can go ahead and visit that site to see my published site. So now I can use this link and share it wherever I want. I can share it uh, via social media, put it on my resume, uh, et cetera. And there you have it. You've made your very first uh, GitHub Codespaces and .NET resume website. Uh, if you want to learn more about Blazor and .NET Codespaces, we've linked some resources below. So make sure to make this project your own and keep coding and keep learning.